Hello and welcome to a Reefcraft Animal Spotlight. Usually we focus on corals, however this time we're looking at one of my favourite animals, the tube anemone. The ones shown in this video come from the genus Pachycerianthus and are abundant across the Perth metro. These aren't true anemones as they don't have an adhesive foot, lack zooxanthellae and have two sets of tentacles. Instead of attaching to surfaces, they have a long root-like foot that can deflate and condense, which enables them to burrow into sediment. The outer tentacles contain stinging cells, and these are used to capture prey and food. These tentacles, when successful, pass food to the central smaller tentacles where the animal can manipulate it for its mouth. These hardy animals can take a wide range of temperatures, live in high nutrient areas and survive in limited lighting like this one found in the Swan River at 18 metres. It is unknown exactly how long they live for. However, some aquariums have had them for over a hundred years. They build a protective tube by releasing threads of a type of special nemesis. With the name on screen now. Algaes, macros, sponges and even other anemones can grow and help camouflage the casings, helping the tube anemone blend into its surroundings. Tube anemones are also hermaphrodites, so when they're small they're male and transitioning to female as they get larger. If you want to find these guys in the wild, they commonly occur in areas of upwelling, along banks or along fringes of reefs. Most beaches in Perth have tube anemones just past the surf zones, starting at about 2 metres. Or, if you look into the Swan River, they are incredibly abundant. They enjoy these areas of flow and nutrient-rich water as it delivers food for them to catch. Although they are unable to retract their tentacles, when feeling threatened, the animal can retract its entire body into its tube, removing itself from danger. In the aquarium, they make fascinating additions and are extremely popular, but they do require regular feeding, deeper than usual sand beds, space to be able to stretch out, and you need to avoid animals that would consider them food. Well that's all I've got on this species of tube anemones. Thanks again, like and subscribe for more content coming out of Western Australia.